Hi guys, what's going on? And welcome back to another episode of Total War Arena. So, we're just going to be having a bit of a play with some tier 5 uh, Roman javelins. What are they, the Mm. Uh, with Sulla, I, I particularly enjoy playing them with Sulla. The, the, the mobility you get from Whip uh, seems to work really well. Um, yeah, just a bit of a casual gameplay. So let's just hop into a battle and see how we get on. So, we are loading in to the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest with Sulla, with our javelins. Um, where am I going to go? That's the next question. Go here. Um, what's our sort of infantry deployment? I want to try and stay with some friendly infantry support. Obviously, the javelins are pretty vulnerable if they get caught out by cavalry, like on their own or anything. Um, well, we could go up here and try and support these Roman heavy infantry down in the middle. Quite a spread of matchmaking from sort of tier six through all the way down to like tier fours. So, um, yeah, should be a good game, hopefully. Claim the enemy base. Kill them all. So yeah, I'm going to try and stick with these Romans, I think, um, sort of as a bit of support. It would be nice. Oh, they've got some light artillery there as well on this side. They might be aiming this way to give us some support, although it looks like they're going to be aiming into the centre to fire down. Okay, well, let's catch up with this guy. Activate our whip and dash to get our sort of supreme speed. Obviously, we've still got the Caltrops. Following, obviously, the last patch, the 3.1.1 patch, um, we have had some changes to Caltrops, which means they've just got a slightly longer wind-up time. Your units actually stop to deploy them now. Um, so whereas before you could be running and then your Caltrop just appear, <laughs> now your unit actually stops to deploy them, which sort of makes them a, li a little uh, different to how they were, but not massively. It's not a massive change, I don't think. They're still pretty good as Caltrops. So let's keep moving up. Looks like we've got some enemy units that are hiding sort of around here, some uh, spears. We've got archers down there. Hopefully there aren't any other ranged units to sort of face off against because the ranged are the, kind of the biggest problem for us. Uh, units like this are perfect. I mean, I'd love to, be, to be, get nice and close to these guys. Oh, enemy artillery. It's not so good. Uh, wisely, these companions are sort of in full retreat. Completely understandable. Does it look like we've got any Romans coming with us though? And these are Miltiades um, uh, spearmen, so we need to be careful because they are quick. If they turn on us, oh, and there's slingers there as well. If they turn on us, they'll do an awful lot of damage. Right, let's get out of range of these slingers as soon as we can. There we go. There's obviously some artillery around here, although it looks like they're hiding now. So we've got slingers here we need to avoid, and we've got to be careful to get caught out. Just try and stick with these guys for support. Okay, so the artillery fire is coming from in there. So let's just get as close as we can to this artillery, basically. And try and get some damage on it. It's only the one artillery unit by the looks of it. We should be able to cut them down. Wow. Very uh, quickly and effectively. And they... I did. Now we've just got to watch out for Miltiades, you see, Miltiades now is quickly flanking in on us. Let's get a volley off. And get a Caltrops down as we try and back out of the fight. Just got to watch this guy, he's the dangerous one in my opinion, is this Miltiades player. Because if he's paying attention he'll do a lot of damage to us. Okay, let's pull out. Get a Caltrops down. And try and get out of this fight so they get at least caught on them. Right, it doesn't really slow them down at all. They have really changed the uh, the way Caltrops work. But now as he retreats, we should get a lot of damage into his back, which we do. Okay, let's reform. Yeah, I know they reduced the effectiveness of the Caltrops. I hadn't realised they'd done it quite so much, actually, to be honest. Looks like this fight's going in our favour. Those Principates are retreating and we have killed these a lot of damage into these... Um, the uh, enemy spearmen, so they've died pretty quickly. Um, there's no sense really shooting into those principles. I'm just going to cause friendly fire. I'm going to up a nice little bit of damage there on some of those, some of those enemy units. Uh, well, I'll throw spears at these guys. Oh, we're being shot at now. What's that? Enemy archers. Okay. Get a bit of speed up um, and get out of range of whatever the hell that is. Try and get some, get our dodge on. Um. Okay, so we've got one enemy unit of foot companions still coming down. These archers are becoming a pest. Uh, really, you've got it in for me. Let's break down here. We've got these foot companions. I'll take him on on my own 
I think I should be finding him. He's going to be quick because obviously he has the speed, but there's three of us, so I think we should be able to uh, spread out sufficiently to be able to just kite him if he tries to do anything uh, too nasty to me. So let's wait for him to sort of get into range. And then as a lot, we can sort of pull back and see which one he's going to go for. And let's pull these ones back, you see, so then as he tries to go for these guys, these guys can get speed, right, speed, 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 and we're... Ooh, okay. Uh, let's get these guys speed. We took a little bit of damage there, but not too bad. Oh, he's entered to hospital like Phalanx, which is a massive error on his part. So we're just trying to kite him now, um, so there's not really a lot he can do about this. He, he managed to catch up with his there, because obviously these multi ADs are quite quick. If there's a Leonidas uh, a spear player, then I'll definitely be safe. The there we go. So he is slay. dead. So let's have a look at what we've got left to do. We've got some enemy slingers down here. Maybe we can get access to them without too much trouble. We use our whip and our dash to get there as quickly as we can. Maybe we can get to the top of this ridge line here and sort of throw down some stuff down on them. Although they're going to get caught by these Macedonians shortly. Why they're not trying to retreat, I, I, I don't know. What a strange, strange move on their part. And then over here, we've just got an absolute ton of uh, pikes. Whip them. So let's get moving over here. The speed with Solo is just really nice. It gives the flexibility that these guys sort of really deserve and allows you to get around to do more. The damage you want to be able to do. Uh, a bit cheeky. A little bit. Ooh. Oh, we didn't do t uh, a little bit of damage. That was just a bit selfish. Shouldn't do that. So, let's push down here. And let's try and get to up to some of these um, pikes. That would be what I'd like to get involved in. We have the speed. Oh, let's just ignore these, buddy. There we go. Get the rat on them. <laughs> Gives us a few extra points for the ambushed and rat uh, modifier. So we'll whip them and dash them. As I say, that gets so much speed. It's 5.64 movement speed, which is just gorgeous. And let's get up here and try and get some javelins. We can slaughter these guys so quickly um, if we can get up this slope quick enough. Gotta be careful we don't take friendly fire from these allied pike phalanx in case they go into pike mode as well. Like that, they've entered pike phalanx there. Um, and then let's just throw some javelins at them. I know we should reform into a sort of a nicer block. It doesn't really matter. That lovely amount of damage. Mark your target. Bit of focus fire. Um, you can die. Um, or, or let's just throw some javelins at these uh, stakes. Should be able to do damage against them pretty quickly. They're going to throw. Are they going to attack them? No. There we go. Could be better. They had a bit of a bug then, I think. Okay, onwards. Whip and dash. Um, I don't think there's anything else really for us to worry about. Uh, they don't have any enemy cavalry, don't have anything that can catch us. So I think we can be just fairly um, careless, I think, to be honest. I'll have those archers. And the archers are dead. Throw some javelins at those Romans. Um, okay, those cavalry seem to want to pull out. Let's throw some more javs without causing any friendly fire, hopefully. I mean, it's just so, so brutal. Look at that. I mean, it's just. I mean, that is, they're just dead. I mean, it's just so utterly devastating uh, for them. They just don't really stand a chance. Uh, if we can, we, we haven't got the angle on them, I don't think. Stop. Stop running from me. Fight me. I wish to throw javelins at you. Um, okay, I'll, oh, they're dead anyway. They put worrying about them. Oh, well, this has panned into quite a nice game, hasn't it? Um, yeah, hopefully you got the idea with that kiting when we're kiting that multi 80 player that sort of, uh, you know, you can really take on anyone with these guys. The, the, the real problem is obviously a cavalry. 
Um, but as long as you have enough room to manoeuvre, you, you should be fine to take on most people with these guys. I'm just going to use Focus Fire to get shots into the middle so we don't cause any allied damage. We'll risk a, we'll risk a card over the head, just the one. Yeah, see, so we did a lot of damage there, and that guy is pretty much dead. And we'll stop there, let that guy get his kills. And that is it, we have captured the enemy base. I do enjoy playing these sort of javelins, particularly when it plays nicely like that. Um, yeah, I'm surprised how much the Caltrops have been nerfed. It's probably a good thing because they are quite powerful, particularly with Solo. The, the speed with the whip and the dash that you get um, kind of makes them flexible enough anyway, without almost even needing the Caltrops, to be honest. But um, yeah, they're nice to get all the same. So yeah, we've got almost 3,000 aggression damage. That's not too bad for a Javelin. And hopefully we contributed to the team. We certainly did a reasonable job killing off the, that multi 80s player. Um, it's quite a powerful tier 6. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Just a short one today. Um, we'll continue, but I'm going to continue down this Tetri. I want to get to the tier 6s, the Velites, or the Velites, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, which could look kind of cool. Uh, but yes, we'll be carrying on. Thanks for watching, guys. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel for more Total Arena content. And thanks, guys. I shall see you all on the next episode.